y'all welcome back to my channel it's ty budgets here if you are new welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back today as you could tell by the title of this video i am going to be showing you all how i plan to make my 100 envelopes for the upcoming year this is what a finished product looks like i have pretty rose gold foil and then I have my money on the inside. So this envelope is a little bit larger than the typical envelopes that you see other people have. The reason why I made mine so large is because one, the money fits in here nicely without showing. And two, I had this box already here. It's an index card holder. And these fit in here perfectly. So yeah. So that is why I decided to make mine a little larger. So if you are interested in how I make these, stay tuned. All right, first things first, you're going to need this paper pack. I got mine from Hobby Lobby. I ordered it online. It is the Pretty as, as a Pony. 20 designs, and there are four of each design. And there are a total of 80 sheets in here. Now, I am making 100, so I did order two. And they are $8.99. And these are so pretty. I'll do a little flip through. So that's the first one I did. So, yep, these are the papers that I'll be using to make my envelopes today. So, of course, my camera died. So, my apologies in advance if the quality changes. But um, I decided to just go ahead and sit down and rip all the pages out. Oop, I ripped that one. Okay, let's slow down. No, and it was so pretty. It's okay. I have another pack. So let me slow down ripping the pages out. Okay, I just finished ripping out all of those pages. As I mentioned before, this one has 80 sheets, but 79 because I ripped one. So out of my other book, same one, Pretty as a Poppy, I need to rip out 21 to get me my 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off. And I think what I'm gonna do is rip out 21 of the fav my favorite patterns that I've seen. So if we're looking, I really like this one that one so the ones with like a lot of the flowers and the gold foiling on them they were really pretty um but yeah let me go ahead and cut this open and honestly y'all i'm liking this setup better i may just record from my phone from here on out if when i upload this footage to my computer it is not terrible so fingers crossed which I know a lot of people record off their phone anyway and I really can't tell a difference when I'm watching videos I can't tell if the pe the person that I'm watching is recording off their phone or recording off a like actual camera and I want to just say thank you to technology for actually you know you know boosting the camera quality up with the cell phones so this one is a really nice one. So one, two, three. Anyway, so my next step is to sit here and fold all of this paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and put y'all on a time lapse while I sit here and fold. And while you fold, make sure you get a really, really good crease on this. So I'm gonna try to use the butt edge of this and see if it'll let me crease it without like messing up my paper. So let's go ahead and try it. While I have you all here, before I put you on the time lapse, so I'm gonna crease it once with my finger. Okay, yep, and then I'm gonna crease it again with my white out. 
and the job is to like get it creased enough so it doesn't open as much and that will help with the air bubbles around the laminating. Alright, I'm coming to the home stretch. Now, halfway throughout the video, I did switch from my um, whiteout to this keychain that one of my students bought me because I don't know if you can tell. Wait, stop moving, stop shaking. But look at look at what folding paper is doing to the keychain. My poor little whiteout didn't stand a chance. So Yep, I switched to the whiteout. Now, midway through, I don't know if the time lapse went by it so fast, but I did take this out. Nothing's wrong with it, but I just really like this one. And I'm going to use it as a Christmas card to my grandmother to go with her gift. I'll write her a little nice little note. Um, because well, somebody's dog out there is barking. She likes pretty paper just as much as I like pretty paper. So I felt like she would really enjoy this paper for Christmas. With her note from her best granddaughter ever. You know, I mean, she has two granddaughters. They're both pretty awesome. But you know, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. All right, so I have folded all 100 envelopes my next step is to laminate them i think what i'm going to do is put them in my container just to hold them look at that oh, gorgeous i'm so excited to feel now right now they're not stuffed so i know when they are stuffed this container might be too small but unstuffed they fit perfectly but i'm going to leave them in here just so they don't topple over and I'm gonna put that over here off to the side try not to knock my ornament off I am going to go ahead and get my laminating if I can find my laminating sheet I'm gonna take a stack like this while that's getting warm just going to go ahead and start putting them in the laminate I mean in the laminating sheet Wow, the laminator is getting warmed up. Okay, y'all, so I tried to switch the little angle so y'all can at least see it coming through the laminator. I'm sorry, this is a little <laughs> ghetto. Okay, so I've laminated all of them and I want to first apologize for all the like scene changes, but this project is definitely a project where you need a lot of space and unfortunately I don't have that space right now with my current setup, so I apologize in advance, but you know we're going to continue with this project, so the next step is to cut them all out. And while I cut them out, I like to run them back through the laminator again 
try not to cut the air bubble on the sides that are going to be sealed and cut the air bubble on the side that is going to open. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it.